Thank you for investing your time to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. My name is Jason Lambert. I'm Cloud Technical Consultant for Microsoft Azure here at Ingram Micro. And today I'm going to talk to you about Azure Backup and how to price it. So as you can see here, I've got my favorite web browser up on my screen and I've gone to the Azure Pricing Calculator web page. And uh, Microsoft's working on a new uh, calculator, but currently we're just going to work from the one that's already in market. So I want to add an additional item down the left side of the page here is the column of modules where all the resources are, are located. I'm going to go under storage for backup and then I'm going to click backup and then I'm going to add backup to my estimate. At this point I've got an opportunity to call my backup, whatever I choose this for this estimate. I can put down the customer name, I can put down the project name, anything else that I require. Then I want to be able to pick the data center that I am going to use. And it's any data center in the world around the world. There's East, West, US, as well as you know uh, Canada. You got Canada East and Canada Central. And then you got other data centers again all the way around the world. So today I'm just going to pick US East. I'm going to pick my number of instances. So an instance is a physical machine or a virtual machine on-prem uh, that I want to back up into Microsoft Azure. And then I want to pick the number of gigs. One of the, one of the caveats about this estimator is you want to consider on average the number of gigs that you want to estimate for because it will do a tally for you as you'll see in a minute. So if I say I've got, let's say 10 instances, and 100 gigs per instance, it's going to tell me that I'm using 1,000 gigs in total. While I may not necessarily be using them on each machine exactly in the same, uh, you know, exactly 100 gigs per each machine. Recognize also that Microsoft only charges you for the actual data that you consume, not the data that you allocate. So when you're thinking in traditional uh, storage, we typically think you know, 250 gig, 500 gig, 750 gig, terabyte, two terabytes, etc. cetera. Uh, in Microsoft Azure, if I, if I provision out a one terabyte drive and I only put 58 gigs of data on it, Microsoft will only bill me for the 58 gigs. So they're only gonna bill me for the actual data backed up. There's a couple of things to keep in mind from one to 50 gigs, it's gonna be $5 per instance for 51 gigs to 500 gigs, it'll be $10 for instance. And then every 500 gigs or variation of 500 gigs beyond that will be an additional $10. So for example, if I have 2,100 gigs of data to back up, Microsoft will charge me five times 10, because there's five increments of 500, even though there's only 2,100 uh, on the machine. So that'll be, so we'll just easily put that in here. One machine, and we're going to say 2,100 gigs of data is going to be $50. And then it's going to be two times, or sorry, two cents times 2,100, 49.97 for a grand total of 99.97 to back up that one machine. Now, if I had 10 machines, uh, uh, 10 machines here, then of course it's going to change uh, accordingly. So I got 10 machines at 2,100 gigs per machine. Um, it's going to change the estimate according to what I need. If I only had one, let's say uh, two machines at 50 gigs a piece, well, let's say 49, well, then it's only two times five, which is 10, right? That gives me a total of 98 gigs is $2 and 35 cents is $12 and 35 cents. So hopefully you got a good understanding. It's $5 per, for one to 50 and then $10 for every increment of 500 beyond that. Um, and then, so that's basically all I need to do for Azure Backup. And then I can pick my, my dollars. So if I want to do it in US dollars or Canadian dollars or any, you know, um, any currency around the world, I can go ahead and select that. And then I also have the ability to export my estimate into an Excel spreadsheet. Thank you for investing your time here today to learn more about our Bite Size Azure series. Uh, to learn more, you're welcome to uh, go to the menu up in the top here. Actually, it's this one or this one, this one, I think. <laughs> uh, and you can select different um, uh, Bite Size Azure series that we've worked on, or you can go to ingramicrocloud.com forward slash Microsoft uh, to learn more. Thank you.